Okay, so to remove this part of the railing, giving way to our second flight of stair, going up to the second floor, we actually need to delete this upper part of the rail, so breaking it into two, and then we need to add a new rail here. Now, what we can do is actually copy this, so copy, control C, so we place this rail in our clipboard. Go to the first floor. While the rail is still selected, the railing is still selected, we're going to edit the path. And we're not just going to delete this part of the railing. We're also going to be deleting this and this. And in the same token, notice that here, our boundary goes straight, right, as one piece uh, curve. We actually need to split this so that the railing will follow the landing, so horizontally. So we're going to split this here into two. Click OK. So we now dele have deleted the upper part of the railing. Let's go, go to our 3D view and see that we now have here the upper part of railing uh, gone, right? So we've deleted that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we're going to add that second half of the railing. So to do that, let's go back to the first floor plan. Now, since we copied that to our clipboard, we can now place this aligned to same place. Now the railing will overlap since we do have a railing here at the bottom part. That's okay. We're just going to edit the path and delete the bottom part of this pasted rail. And of course, we want to delete the opening. Now, you're thinking that maybe this should do, right? We have the railing at the landing and this railing here. So let's click on OK, look at it in 3D, and notice that this doesn't follow the landing, the horizontal direction, even if they are two separate uh, railing or lines. So let's see, what if we cut this into two, right? So what if we cut this here, just somewhere here, right, by this small cut, will that solve it, similar to what we did the first time? So let's look at it in 3D, and that worked. So it looks like here we did need a cut because, for some reason, the distance between balusters are some are, is not in the corner so it's making this rail continue on downward and thus make the rest continue downward so cutting sometimes solve the problem now we're ready to add the second half of the stairs now here we will need to create a landing level so we'll do that in the next video